what's up YouTube now um sorry if I sound a little drowned out at the moment but this tutorial I'm just showing gonna be showing you now which is how to get Lux render working with 2.5 X and what I mean by 2.5 X is it can be used in any of the 2.5 series but uh, yeah I've done it four times so a bit, little pissed off what you're gonna do is we're gonna go in under uh, Lux render and uh, dot net dot yeah it's dot net just type it in Google. Should be the first one. And uh Yeah, sorry, I'm downloading something on my other computer. The reason I'm doing this is because of Hollowed One. Hollowed, hello or whatever the hell his name is. And it says, Do you know how to get Lux Render installed with two point five six A with Windows seven sixty four bit? I cannot find anywhere in the forums. 2.56 is really good if you haven't tried it. Yeah, I have tried it, and um, it is good. But, um, I did that comment how long ago? 51 minutes ago. Because for some reason, when, um, just go downloads, download. For some reason, when you, uh, use the beta of Cam Studio and you compress it, it goes sideways like a wanker. Okay, what you want to do is install. Lux render. Click on whatever one you have. And, uh, yeah, when my computer's up speed. Yeah, there we go. Click on the install you want. And, uh, once it's downloaded, just install it. I'm not going to show you how to do that. If you, if you have trouble doing that, there's, yeah. Uh, I don't want to say anything because I don't know if someone can't do it. I don't want to be slack to them. But, um, it's easy. Now you want to do is, uh, step two download, install, and export it for your 3D program of choice. Blender, obviously. Sorry, Blender, obviously. And um, what you need for this is Python. So let's go open a new tab. If you don't already have Python, and what you need to do is go up to the top where it says Lux Blend. Lux Blend can be found here. Click here. This will take you here, and then you want to go to this third one, Lux Blend 25. Download installation instructions issues. Click on that. Then you want to go to this. Um, wiki page then you want to go down to get Lux Blend 25 click on this uh, source file here uh, download the zip it's like a hundred uh, yeah it's like a hundred kilobytes you also want to download Python uh, any of the versions doesn't matter just download it install it there there it is you don't have to worry about it anymore and uh yeah, once you get the zip file, I'll show you. I've got the zip file here. There we go. Okay. There we go. This is one. So you want to open up the zip file with whatever program you have. I have WinRAR. You want to go into the first the folder. Then you want to go into this SRC folder. Double click. And then you want to extract the... Uh, Lux render folder to desktop or wherever. Wherever is most convenient for you. Now once you come around, the, once you have, do you have this file, just double click on it, go into the source, get this Lux render file. Just drag it on the desktop. Oh uh, yeah. And on. As I said, this is like the fourth time I've done it. Drag it to the desktop. And there it is. There's this folder. You can now delete this piece of crap folder over here. All you need is this Lux, Lux render folder. And I want to show you a, a good tip right here, right now. To get to the add-ons for Blender on Windows 7, you have to go through App Data and Roaming. Now, if you don't know how to do it, just uh, make a new folder on the desktop. Double click on it. We're up here, click, and it should come up with this. See slash users slash whatever your account name is what you need to do is delete down to your account name put a slash do app data a p p d a t a slash slash roaming presenter and there you go and what you want to do is go to this blender foundation go blender 2.5 or whatever version you have 
scripts, add-ons, drag your Lux render fold in there. I've already got it in there, so I'm not going to do it again. Then you can close out of it. Then what you need to do is you need to open up Blender and go File. Well, not File, but you ought to go to User Preferences. You need to go down to Render. Now you need to check his Lux render. You need to check the little tick at the end. And uh, yeah, then what we do is just save, close out of it. And um, the way you use Lux render, okay, well, that's how you get Lux render working. But the way to tell if you have Lux render working is you click here where it says Blender render, change that to Lux render. And uh, as you see over here in the render tab, the little camera, it all changes. And we'll start seeing Lux render everywhere. Now, the uh, generally all these options are the same except for maybe external type, but you got to change. You can change it to G, G, GUI, which is graphic, graph, graphic user interface, and then this run renderer. And all you got to do here is find where your render file is. And once you found it, mine C program files Lux render. Don't select any of the files; just click accept, and then that should be there. And then the rest of the rest of these are all default. Now, uh, I'll show you a like a preview of Lux render since Lux render takes forever, and I'm seriously meaning forever. I've never seen a render that took so long for one still image. But what you need to do is once you've got all your settings right. They're my settings. It doesn't matter. It's all default settings, pretty much, except for this, um, the engine configuration. Okay, what you want to do? I'm just gonna quickly add material. Oh, by the way, um, when Pylux comes out, um, someone that watches this later on, if Pylux is out by then, uh, send us a message and a link for it. Thanks. But um, you want to go down here and go. Uh, mat or whatever, and go whatever you want. I'm gonna go metal, silver. Now that's it. There's also um, some textures. I don't quite know how to use it, but it's there. If I actually knew what some of these words meant, then I'd have better. That'd have more luck. Let's go marble. Um, now, once you've got all your things set up, browse scene to be linked or whatever. Okay, you're gonna go uh, render image. Now this window should pop up, and this window will be the same as your main Blender window. Now this takes a long time, a very very long time. And hang on, I'll take off the texture, take it off, there we, there we go, now I'll show you, because I took off texture, it's not going to take it as long, hopefully, but uh, I don't know, it, I could be mistaken, oh, come on, Lux Render, don't take forever, bloody asshole. what am I at, nearly 10 minutes, okay, hang on, We are going to delete the default cube. Shift A, add mesh, monkey. No. Shift A, add mesh, monkey. Set X, rotate Z, rotate XX, add modifier, subdivision surface, pump it to smooth, add material, render image. Now let's see if this works. Yeah, this should work. For some reason it wasn't working with the cube. Now, something should happen any second now. There we go. Now, um, that will continue to get better quality until it gets pristine quality. Just depends on how long you can leave it going. I can't. I don't like to overclock this computer. Um, when I get to my animation stuff, I will, but um, at this time, not really. And there's all these options, just go through and mess around with it.
but uh, that's it to Hallowed One. I did get it working. I hope this helps you. And thanks for watching. Bye.